Okay guys, as you can see, we got our four guineas in here. Two of them are uh, right up butted, butted against each other, and the other two are right next to each other. Also, they're kind of in a little bit of group, but uh, yeah, all four of them survived the night. Nothing tried to get them or anything. So everything's going well, and they're nice and calm since they got that stuff they're kind of hiding in. You guys aren't hiding that well, but uh, you see it's all in here. It's just kind of wilted. This is the next day, and it's already wilted, so I probably will have to uh, throw more in there until they get a little bit bigger at least. But they survived. Oh, uh, maybe in a couple of days or so. I don't know. Something like that will throw out the chickens too. As soon as they get more feathers on them. Because they pretty much, uh, these guineas pretty much have all their feathers. They just don't have, uh, oh, I think they got some underneath that they need to uh, grow in and stuff too. In their heads they'll get a uh, they'll lose all that uh little feathers on top of their heads those little fluffy feathers you'll see them when they get older guys they <laughs> they look a lot different whenever they get older but uh yeah they're doing pretty well i just fed them i threw some corn well uh some bird bird feed some actual chicken feed and stuff in here i mixed it with uh, some of the baby food and stuff you know the little baby chick feed which I feed these guys the turkey feed. But I threw some of that in here, mix with a little bit of corn and stuff because they can get rocks and everything else they need to digest stuff, you know, without here. Because uh, I, I guess guineas do the same thing as uh, chickens do. They pick up little rocks, help them grind up their food. You know, I got gravel and stuff that kind of leads to the pen and stuff over here and over there. So they got plenty of little rocks they can pick up. You know, it's little tiny pieces of gravel, like tiny, tiny so they can eat that or whatever and little tiny pebbles and stuff so that should be no issue there's also plenty of bugs out here for them to eat and things like that i haven't been home i've been at work so i have no clue if they've been running around or not i've only seen them run around once and that was whenever i threw the feed in here but yeah they're doing pretty well i'm actually uh really surprised that they're letting me kind of sit here and talk they kind of uh they still run around like dummies but right now they're doing okay all right little guinea yeah they're barely moving like they're breathing one of them in the front blinked that's about it all right guys i'm gonna hop off here i just i want to give you guys the good news that everything's going pretty well with them and here soon we'll be throwing out the chickens maybe in a I don't know, maybe a week or so, maybe a little bit less. If the temperature stays up like it has been, then it'll go out sooner. Right, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, we got four guineas in here hiding. I don't know if you can spot them all, but uh, yeah, there's four of them in there. They survived the night. We had trouble with foxes and stuff, but uh, I did build a pen and everything, and the guineas are doing, well, I built a fence around the pen itself and everything, and yeah, but everything's doing well. We got our four little guineas. I'll show you whenever they get bigger. All right, guys, as promised, the guineas are gonna be getting their uh, little chicken friends. Now, the chickens are small enough to where they can pretty well squeeze out of one of the these they're just a little bit smaller than the guineas are so i'm gonna have to go through and put some stuff at the bottom just to make sure they can't get out but uh as always i'm gonna stand out over here for a while and watch to make sure they can't get out the door opens up this way too like inside the pen so i just dumped out their water i'm, I'm gonna clean it out for them and give them some fresh water oh, let's let these little buggers out Wrong way. <laughs> what do you think? They was going to your demise. You went to a bigger pen. Yeah, these guys were not having it whenever I was trying to take them out. Not having it one bit. All right, get down so I can get the other ones out. 
Come on, little ones. There's five of these guys in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys can't go this way. This way is uh, not safe for baby chicks. I'm just trying to help you. Whatever, go that way then. I believe there's one more in the box. Two more in the box. Mom, get out. Oh my goodness, get out of there. There they are. Oh. The door came and smacked you in the butt. You can see the guineas are freaking out. Look, it's just your chickens from inside. Yeah, it's just your chickens, you dummies. Looks like that one might be a white one, which would be pretty cool. Bully's not allowed over here because he'd jump in here and scare the hell out of all of them. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to open up that thing because I got that that post there. Might have to cut that post down eventually. You guys can go. Go. Stay away from the door. But yeah, they'll uh they'll be out here from now on. What? Are you unhappy to be out here? It's uh the weather is supposed to be pretty well 70s for a while. If it's 70s just for a week, it should be okay. Just because uh they have a decent bit of feathers they pretty much have all the feathers on their wings and stuff like that they're getting the ones on their butts you know the their tail feathers they're still uh still pretty fuzzy so if it was anywhere below 60 they would not be out here but it's supposed to be 70s and above the next week so they should be all right bully shut up you don't get to see them until later. So I'll try to throw some more, uh, some more vines in here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut down some more vines and stuff and throw them in here just so that the uh, guineas can still have their place. And hopefully the chickens will uh, hide in there too. These freaking gnats are trying to eat me alive. You guys can run around, this is your new home. Go over here and scratch. I'm sure there are freaking bugs underneath there. I'm going to throw your water thing back in here and give you guys some fresh water. And here's the other three and here's the other two. They uh, are not moving. The guineas are hiding back in their spot. They know that I'm not being a threat, so they don't really care. You guys just don't move very much, do you? Now, oh, there's the guineas. One of the guineas noticed the, the chick. You guys going to go there and see the chick? Hmm? I'm going to do some maintenance around the house and pull up some uh, vines and weeds and stuff. And I'm going to throw them in here for you guys. All right, guys, I'll give you an update on these uh, little butts. Probably in this video, just to show you how they're doing and everything. And to let you know if any of them somehow got out. And if they do, I'll have to go all the way around this thing and rewire everything down. But uh, we'll see. We will see. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a second. All right, guys, there's a big old mess here. I've gotten the vines, and then they're at the bottom. And I found some of these dried, I don't know what they are, but they're really dry and brittle. I threw them sort of on top, and then I threw this weeds and stuff like that on top of that. And there's a big old empty space in there. I don't know if I can see them or not. You must be in there pretty good. I don't see them. Unless they're all the way over here. Yeah, there's one. I don't know if you can see his little head. It's right there in the middle. <sighs> then there's these geniuses. So I am going to have to tighten up this spot here. I'm going to have to go on the other side and help that dum dum get pushed back in. And that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the wire and push this a little bit up top and below and uh on this side this one those are the two they can really get out that one i'm gonna go ahead and do also it's a little pushed out the bottom 
So, yeah, I'm going to have to do all of that. But after that, they, sh they should be okay. And I'm going to get them their water, and that's going to be it. I'll let them run around and do their thing. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to have to uh, do that work or whatever, but it's pretty well done, other than, you know, the nitty-gritty of me adding the, uh, the wire and stuff like that. So, oh my gosh, those frogs are just going crazy today. There are a big bunch of uh, tree frogs over here. <laughs> right above boy's head, too. Alright, guys. That's going to be it for this one. The uh, chicks and the guineas are outside. <laughs> that chick is just giving up. He's, he's going to bed. He shut his eyes. He goes, oh, I'm done. Oh, I'll help you get out. I'll have to go on the other side and help you get back in. Dumb dumb. Alright, that's why I didn't br let Bully come in here because I knew they'd end up doing stuff like that and he'd try to push him back in and end up squishing one. So, oh well, I'll help them back in and hopefully they'll start hiding in there or doing something. So, the guineas will uh, help teach them. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Alright, I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.